using the Blue Godzilla supplies, we're going to talk about pencils and blending stumps today. You'll find the blending stumps in here, oops, along with the compasses. Here is a picture that I started. I'm adding hair. Now, if I want some shading in my face, Maybe I want it a little bit darker on the sides because typically that is where um, the shadows are. You might have some shadows around your nose as well. It's very light. I'm going to take this and just like I said about using um, Q-tips, with your charcoal pencils, a blending stump does the same thing, except it's a little more controlled. Now I have a nice line here. I don't really like that line. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to add a little bit more color here, or rather uh, shading, a little more value. Okay, that looks a little funny because it's hairy looking, but if I take this and I blend it, it doesn't look quite so hairy. By doing this, my face will look a little bit more round, more dimensional. It will have form. Remember? Form is when something looks three-dimensional or is three-dimensional. It is height, width, and depth. Since our piece of paper, or our drawing rather, does not have height, width, or depth, it has the appearance of having height, width, or depth. It's also a way to show that the light is hitting um, a certain part of the face. In this case, it would be hitting um, the center of the face. And notice how I'm just simply rubbing it and it's taking that color and moving it along. Now some of you might want to use your fingers to do this. That's fine, but what you'll notice about your fingers is your fingers have oil in them. So when you do this with your fingers, if you make a mistake and you try to erase it, there's no going back. But if you do this with a blending stump and you make a mistake, you can erase it. I'm going to show you also our rubber erasers. Rubber erasers are pretty cool. Um, some people think of them as putty. It's a real easy way to open these. There's a line here, but mine broke. You take this and it pulls apart. Oops, the reason it does that is it allows you to make it skinny. If you need it skinny, you can go in here and make certain parts lighter. If you want it lighter, then you just pull it and knead it. And by doing that, the dirt goes away and you can use it again. Okay? You can also dab it because it's a little dark in here. Maybe I didn't want it that dark. I can dab it. Notice it's pulling all of that dirt in there. Again, I pull it and it magically disappears. And I can continue dabbing wherever I need. Now, if I did that with my finger, it wouldn't come up quite as nicely because like I said, your fingers have oils in them. The blending stump does not. Okay, um, I can use it like a normal eraser. 
I don't like this dark line here, so I'm going to erase very lightly that dark line. Again, there's black there. I just need it. And I can go back with my blending stump if I need to. So that's how to use your blending stump. It's also how to use the kneaded eraser. Thank you for joining us here with the Blue Godzilla Supplies.